mko wasichana sita tisa uh, tuko wasichana ni 18 lakini tisa moja wa baba wote 10 na ngapi 18 na vijana watano wa baba wote sisi familia yote sasa alafu sasa tisa usinipeleke mbio nikachukua nami nikachukua uzi nami nikachoma uzi nikaona haita nini manager haraka nikachoma ikakuwa jibu nikachukua ngoja ukaona haitafanya nini haitashika haraka hii uzi ndio nikachukua nikachoma ndio nikasiaga hiyo unga yake mimi nimekuleta nyota ya ndoa nimepoteza wanaume wawili wamekufa nikioleka nitoke huko anakufa wa pili nikaoleka nikatoka huko baada akakufa akaniachia mtoto ukitoka ndiye anakufa ndio alafu sasa umepoteza kwa kukufa ama kwa kukufa alafu hapana ulipoteza kwa kutoka yani nikitoka huko nakufa wa pili nikaotoka huko sio maana nasema unapoteza kwa kutoroka ndoa nilikuwa naitwa kama wamekufa alafu sisi wote unatoroka kwanza ndio wanakufa tunakosana nikitoka huko wanakufa alafu madada zangu tisa wote tuko na ugonjwa sawa wa kwanza alikufa yu ugonjwa wa pili bado hivyo hivyo watatu wako naye wanne mimi watano alafu mtoto wangu nikakuja hapa akapona ugonjwa gani ko positive alafu mimi nikienda nikipimwa napatikana nikaenda nikapima wakasema hakuna tena nikaenda hospitali nyingine nikapatikana naye sasa ngapi baba alio na wake watano hey. alafu goja baba alio na wake wangapi watano na wewe umeolewa na wanaume wangapi wawili wakikufa umebakisha ngapi sahii huyu wa mwisho alikufa sahii ni miaka tisa bado sija au yapata mwingine bado huwa napata tu marafiki hivyo hivyo lakini wako na mabibi okay we umebakisha ndoa ngapi ndio ufikie baba na yatakana pia umshinde baba ndio huwa navunja madhabahu lakini bado okay mm. mko wasichana sita tisa uh, uh, tuko wasichana ni 18 lakini tisa moja wa baba wote 10 na ngapi 18 na, na vijana watano wa baba wote sisi familia yote sasa alafu sasa tisa usinipeleke mbio wasichana 10 na ngapi 18 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 yani yeah, mm-hmm. hii roho yote ni watoto wa babako Alafu vijana wangapi? Vijana watano. 1 2 3 4 5. Alafu okay. wangapi wanaugua ukimwi? Ni tisa. Wawili wamekufa, umebaki saba. Saba. Ndio. Wewe ni mmoja wao. Ndio lakini Sasa wewe ulikuja ukaleta mtoto wako. Mtoto akapona. Yeye alikuwa positive. Ndio alipona. Amepimwa mara ngapi? Amepimwa mara nne. Hata nilikuwa nilete result lakini kuna mali nilikuwa nimeenda kazi nikakuja amepoteza na yuko. Sasa nilikuwa nipime nilete dawa nirudishe juu yeye hana sasa akakatazwa dawa Amepima mara nne hana akakatazwa dawa Ulimleta hapa lini Si kumleta ni mimi wanakuja nilikuja kuanzia nini Majaoni Ndio Sasa ulikuja kwa ajili ya mtoto Wanakuja sisi wote lakini sasa mtoto ndiye akatangulia kupona Huwa unakuja na mtoto Aa, ni mimi wanakuja tu kwa ajili yangu Sio dada anasema sisi wote Mimi wanakuja kwa ajili yangu na mtoto Unaishi Kenya au unaishi Tanzania nakaa Nairobi itabidi tukufundishe Kiswahili sisi wote ni zaidi ya watu wangapi zaidi ya mtu mmoja huwa nakuja peke yangu lakini nasimamia wote hao madada zangu na mtoto wangu sasa mtoto yeye amepona ndio wewe yako inaonekana inapotea inapotea unataka upone ndio dada zako hata, hata nikiwa kazi nilienda nikapima nikapatikana hakuna juma daktari walikuja kazini wakapima hawakunipata naye lakini tangu nirudi huku sijapima tena Nenda ukapime tena baada ya meza bwana nenda ukapime. Amen. Lakini heri wewe Heri wewe unajua kile kinachokuleta. 
ulitaka talaka iishe kwenu ndio unataka roho ya ukimwi uishe kwenu ndio na imeanza na mtoto ashapona ndio wewe unapona dada zako pia wapone na uolewe kwa heshima amen lafu niko na ushuhuda niko na ushuhuda ndio eh hii ni new life ni, nilikuja kuna ni, nilienda kazi 2021 Masai Mara alafu nikaambiwa nirudi sasa nilikuwa naambiwa tu kila wakati nirudi nirudi last year nikaenda kuna mwenye alikuwa ananichochea nikachukua maji nika spray nikasema kaa kuna mwenye ananiandama nimfuate alikuja akapatikana ameiba pesa za mzungu akaenda sasa nikaitwa huko mwaka kuenda huko nikachukua nami nikachukua uzi nami nikachoma uzi nikaona haita nini manager haraka nikachoma ikakuwa jivu nikachukua ngoja ukaona haitafanya nini haitashika haraka hii uzi ndio nikachukua nikachoma ndio nikasiaga hiyo unga yake sasa nikaambia room steward nikawaambia mimi nitaenda nitengeneze nyumba ya manager nikaenda nikamwekea kwa maji nikainenea afu sasa manager venye alikunywa kuna msichana alikuwa amechukuliwa kabadilisha hii mwezi nikaambiwa mimi ndio narudi huko niweke kwa system Unaweza ukarudia hii hii testimony. Hebu <laughs> anza. Niliitwa kazi, nikaambiwa naenda miezi tatu kawaida venye huwa naenda. Kufika huko msichana mwingine tena akaitwa. Sasa tukawa wawili. Huyu akaambiwa aenda alete documents NHIF na NSSF. Na mimi sikuambiwa nilete. Ndio aingizwe kwa system. Ndio, na mimi sikuwa nimeambiwa nilete. Sasa nikajiongele, nikaambia nitacheza na madhabahu yangu. Nikachuku, nikatoa kwanza sacrifice na nikachukua uzi nikasema nikaona hiyo itaenda pole pole nikachukua uzi yeah. nikachoma oh, unaona sacrifice itaenda pole pole itaenda pole pole na nikichukua uzi pia niweke uzi bila kuchu, nini itaenda pole pole yeah. nikachoma uzi nikasiaga na kijiko kabisa yeah. nikakuwa unga jivu ukaweka kwa maji nikaweka kwa maji ya manager bosa akakunywa ndio akatoa yule kwa system na akamtoa kwa system na alikuwa amemwambia alete documents akaniambia mimi nirudi aniweke kwa system januari Nani alifanya hivyo? Mimi. Ulifanyaje? <laughs> Kweli kimeuma. Ameua mtu? ametokana mtu ameidia mtu amepata kila alikuwa anataka yani uli, uliona hii sacrifice itachelewa uzi ukiweka pia itachelewa haitafanya haraka ili iende haraka hii jamani don't try that at home ni salivia rafiki yako you don't try that at nani yako na hiyo prayer club itabidi kesho nisipeane mwingine alichukua hii akaweka kwa viatu vya mtoto wake amekuwa namba 1 anapandishwa cheo four times mwingine amemwekea manager 
ili ya kukwasiste ni kuchomei wewe bado nauliza mazwani na watu wanatoa testi wadi anaweza kujomea uzi ukatoka Sijai kusikia testimony kama hiyo. Unajua bado najaribu kwa absorbi kitu. Okay. Si ni kuache. Wewe ah. unataka nini? Unataka kujelewa mimi nani? Unataka kujijua? Choma uzi. <laughs> Usifanye hiyo. <laughs> Bwana Yesu asifiwe. You know faith is something very important if you know how to use it. And you can waste time on earth for a very long time doing nothing. And you come and you tour then you go back. Na unafanya kazi ya kupiga picha. Na kujipiga picha. Look at me, I'm cute. I'm whatever and you are nothing. Naomba Mungu atupe hekima jinsi ya jinsi ya kufunguliwa lakini tusichome uzi. Na mimi hautachomea mwingine uzi tena. Ama hiyo hatujui. Ndugu angalia si kwamba hakuna njia kuna trend nyingine tunaenda nayo inatusaidia unataka kunyonyesha historia ya kwenu na umeketi hapa mbele na kuna formula ningekuwa sijui na unajua haungelikuja kwa kukuongelesha ikusaidie mtu kujijua wanafundisha anajua simwambii sababu nikikwambia utasema Ezekiel aliniambia si ndio ndio maana hata jameni mimi sikupendi sababu haufundishiki let us love one another but that is not priority number one. kilicho kileta huyu mtu mwembamba ni kuhubiri nchini and i will preach until i go back to where i came from do you know why you came You didn't come to be married. Nani amekwambia hakuna watu wa kuolewa? You didn't come to be married. Marriage is not a fulfillment of your coming. It is part and parcel of your right of existence. When you are married or you marry, you have not completed your mission. In fact, you've not begun, you have not started your mission. You did not come here to build a house. That is not the reason why you came. That's why almost 90% do not know why they came na hawajajua. The day I knew why I came, I changed the direction of my life. Nilijua sitawahi fanya biashara, sitawahi kuwa footballer, sitawahi kuwa baby boy sita kwa wai kwa daddy daddy baby baby nilimwambia mke wangu yes you are my wife darling you are my wife but nilikuja kwa ajili ya hii microphone so when i wake up i think about this before i sleep about this when i dream i think about this why did you come When you know why you came you will ask for power Because without power you will never execute your mission here When you know why you came you will ask God for power Once you know you want to be a footballer you ask for training a musician a swimmer 
an athlete an ajua i came yule mtu anaitwa anga nani yule mtu ambaye alikimbia alikimbia sana mwingine amekuja akavunja rekodi yake juzi anaitwa nani huyu akona sura kama yangu ha kipchoge kichoba ina nani ha sio keino ha eh 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 El, el you keep yes el you keep choke anasema he just wants to break records he came to run the man is running if there is no competition anaanda mashindano against time anasema naenda kukimbia against time what is your record anaambiwa inaitwa international athletics whatever what ai ai something wanamwambia this is the record ya marathon nani ani i hold flan ye mwenyewe ndiye ana hold alafu anasema i want to break the record una muandalia mbio yeye peke yake na ana train na anakimbia chini ya 2 hours marathon na anamaliza anakuwa record holder alafu mwingine anakuja anamwambia yes you are record holder holding record does not mean it belongs to you i want to take it from you anakuja anakimbia alafu anamwambia Eliud Kipchoge hiyo ni yako mimi nimekuja na nyingine tena naomba hata na wewe pia Mungu akujulishe kile kilichokuleta ask for power uliza mwenzako umekuja dunia hii kufanya nini kulala kuleta hasara. Mwambie usikasirike pasta amekwambia tu kwi. Once you know why you came, kwa sababu gani ulikuja, you will ask God for power. Yesu anasema the spirit of God is upon me. Do you know what you need for you to succeed? Power is very important. Power is very important. Mkristo ambaye hana nguvu anakufa kama kuku. Anashindwa na waganga. Anashindwa na wachawi. Majini anakutoa kwako. Mimi waganga na wachawi wananiogopa wewe wanakutesa kwani tunaabudu Mungu tofauti waganga na wachawi wananiita mchawi wachungaji wasionielewa kile ninachofanya pia wananiita huyu pasta hatuwe muelewi hizi vitu anavyofanya havieleweki what you need is power when you get power ordinary people will never understand whatever you are doing when you receive power you will minister in spirit and power na unapoanza kufanya mambo yako katika roho na katika nguvu hii ndio kitu inafanyika kwako your brain is supplied by the spirit okay the bible says the spirit of god such as the heart of god roho wa mungu upeleleza moyo wa mungu na kutafutia siri za mungu na kutuletea siri za mungu siri za mungu inamaanisha mungu hajawahi kuelezea malaika na hajawahi elezea mtu so ukiwa na roho wa mungu roho wa mungu anapeleleza moyo wa mungu anakuletea vitu vipya ambavyo hata rais hana na hata mbunge wako hana wazazi wako hawakufanya lakini wewe uko na uwezo wa kuyafanya haya mambo siku moja polisi moja alitumwa hapa aje nishike na akasahau kunishika akaanza kuniuliza maswali pastor anyway before i arrest you who gave you this mind to do all these things when you were born were you aware you are going to do all these things nikamwambia no i was too young to understand when did you realize that you are able to do these things to do what the ministry the kind of level you are doing it 
I told him when I knew myself why I came. I started doing what I came to do. How does one come to know why he came? Akaniuliza pastor mimi nilikuja kufanya nini? Nikamwambia wewe ulikuja kunishika. Sababu hiyo ndio umetumwa lakini haujajua kazi yako ni vipi. <laughs> Akasahau in fact sikumbuki kama alinishika. Akaniambia tunataka kufanya investigation hapa tukimaliza tuende lakini please help me. Hii kitu naitanga nyota hii inatokanga wapi? Si unigawie kidogo hata kama niletumwa kushika si unigawie kidogo. Yesu anasema baba na mwana ni ngapi? Amen. Baba anakaa ndani ya mwana na mwana anakaa ndani ya ba. baba. Kisha anasema unapokula mwili wangu na kunywa damu yangu unakaa ndani yangu mimi nakaa ndani yako. Kwa hivyo wewe na Yesu Yesu anakaa ndani yako na wewe unakaa ndani yake. Wewe na Yesu ni ngapi? tunaendelea vizuri na Yesu na Mungu ni ngapi kwa hivyo tunafanya hesabu naona mami ameanza kujiuliza Ezekiel unaelekea wapi lete bot tuanze kupiga hesabu father in the sun sun in the father son in me stroke you me stroke you in the son solve the equation mathematics sat naanza what is the question who are you mami ni beaza who are you alafu nieleze wewe ni nani kulingana na ile kitu nimeandika baba asijelewi haujajelewa wewe ni nani kulingana ile kitu nimeandika? Elewa. Ujaelewa. Ile kitu nimeandika pale. Wewe ni nani? Sielewa pa. Okay. <laughs> Nitaelezea. Baba ako ndani ya mwana. Mwana ako ndani ya baba. Mwana ako ndani yako ama yangu na wewe ama mimi niko ndani ya mwana suluhisha hili tatizo wewe ni nani baba wewe ni baba kwa nini kwa nini wewe si mwana ukielewa hiki tunafanya hii unaweza kuchomoka mbio mwenyewe ukaenda ukaiba ile kitu ukakunywa sasa hivi <laughs> kweli bora tu nimeiombea hata kama hauna mfuko unaweza kuiweka kwa mdomo uende ukunywe mbele <laughs> nilipoelewa hii imenifanya ninayefanya kila ambacho nafanya na siogopi mchawi siogopi mganga ukimuona mwapie aje na msukiri the father in the son the son in the father 
So the father and the son are one. Because the son is in the father and the father is in Nisawa. So when you see the father, you have seen the son. And when you see the son, you have seen who? The father. Now yes, I do all these things that I do because the Father is in me. In fact, the words that I say comes from the Father. And I say, they are not my words. They are His words because the Father lives inside the Son. Okay. The Bible says in the book of John chapter number 6, Whoever feeds on my flesh and drinks my blood, my blood lives in me and I in him. Okay. Ikiwa ukitumia mwili wa Yesu na damu ya Yesu Kristo, unaishi ndani ya Kristo na Kristo anaishi ndani yako. Therefore, the son in the man the and man in the son. Tumeelewana hiyo? So, this is also one this one has the son. This one has the son. And this one has the father. And if the father is in the son, this son also has the father. Sindio? Tunaelewana hii sababu. Sababu hapa kuna mwana na baba ni kitu kimoja. Mwana plus baba. Hapa mwana amepatikana. Na mwana hapatikani bila baba. Kwa hivyo huyu mwana kuna mwalimu wa maths sasa hivi ananipa credit siku danganyi. Mwalimu wa maths anasema Ezekiel ulifanya maths na ulipita. This son equals to father plus son. Then man ambao ni mimi plus mimi. Me plus the son is one. Now, this is the answer. Father plus the son plus you or me equals to one. So, nenda ukamuite mchayu wako. Aji aniroge. Ata kufama pema sana. Hiyo ni maana Yesu anasema tumieni mwili wangu na damu yangu ili nikae ndani yako na wewe ukae ndani yangu omba lolote sasa na utafanya nini utapewa na anasema all power has been given to me yeye ikiwa yeye anaishi ndani yako unatumia mwili wake na damu yake all power is given to you Kuna mtu ameelewa ama umepotea? Umepotea? Umeelewa? Hizo yeah. ndizo vitu ni zinanipanga ujeuri. The Bible will never lie. The Bible will never lie. When you know the word and you put it into practice according to the way it is written, the word will come alive in you. Do you Siponyi watu kwa akili I use the word by faith Do you know hii kitu imesababisha watu wanaokuwa na wanakufa This simple mathematics Hata saa hii nikikuuliza unajua Mungu anakaa ndani yako wewe ni nani Mama na, naomba ukae 
na mimi ninahubiri sasa ukiongea na mimi nitakuja eh ah kama utaenda nitakupa ruhusa uende sababu kuna wengine wametoka mataifa mengine oh nikimaliza utanikosa nitakuja mamangu wako juu ya sheria <laughs> wao ndio wameruhusiwa kuharibu ibada wao wameruhusiwa mbinguni na duniani kuharibu nini ibada akifika kwa nyumba yako hata kama ulikuwa unaenda safari una kiti chini na msikilizo sasa mimi natamani siku ile nitakuwa na hiyo umri tafurahi sana nafanya bidii ile nikifika kule nizeeke kwa heshima nisizeeke kwa majuto msije mkaniita mzee majuto <laughs> ukijijua na unajua kwa nini unajua ni kwa nini watu wananiita mchawi sababu wanafikiria Yesu ako wapi hayuko mbinguni anasema nitakuja niishi na wewe kwako na niishi ndani yako imeandikwa sio mambo yangu imeandikwa na anasema ni unapokula mwili wangu na kunywa damu yangu ninakaa ndani yako na wewe unakaa wapi na yeye mwenyewe amesema baba anakaa ndani ya mwana na mwana anakaa ndani ya na anasema haya yote ninayofanya nafanya kwa sababu baba anakaa wapi hata mimi nitayafanya haya sababu Yesu anakaa wapi wewe unafikiria utamuita unajua wewe okay kwa mfano niongee na nani acha nitafute maro ya sasa watu wataka kuniangalia nikikuangalia naona roho sana tafuta roho <laughs> eh nimeona roho hapa huyu mtoto anaweza kuperform vizuri kuliko huyu huyu ana perform vibaya zaidi this brother of mine wale watu wako hapa ndani wanaitwa umaskini hapa ndani huyo sister of mine wale watu wako hapo ndani wanaitwa kifo magonjo kifo wale wako hapa ndani wanaitwa talaka hakuna mahali nimekosea <laughs> naweza nikaendelea <laughs> bwana yesu sifi sasa yule roho ambao ako hapo ndani yako ndiye anakufanya unaishi hayo maisha. Yeye ndiye anakuambia nenda right, nenda left. Yule roho anayekaa ndani yangu ndiyo ako na uwezo wa kuona hiyo roho. Yeye ndiye ananifanya ninakaa hivi na ninafanya hayo. Yeye ndiye anaponya watu. Amen. Yeye ndiye anakomboa watu. Yeye ndiye ako na hii elimu yote. Yeye ndiye anasomesha watoto ni kama ni serikali. Huyo roho, yeye ndiye anajenga hizi vitu vyote. Na huyo roho anakaa ndani ya Kristo. Wakati unakula mwili wa Kristo na kunywa damu yake, unapokea ile roho ya Mungu moja kwa moja. Moja Why don't you believe this simple explanation? Munapona kansa lakini you don't understand what I'm teaching you. You come for holy communion because this thing pastor Ezekiel anatupatia inatuponya. But I tell you what it is, but it's not easy to believe it. Nilipojua akiingia ndani yangu nitafanya haya yote. Nilimwambia wachawi na waganga nyinyi ni vifaranga vya kuku hatuwezi agiu Area hii ilijaa uchawi na urogi. Wewe ushawahi kuona nyoka mbaya kuna vichwa viwili? 
Shai kuona nyoka wa vichwa vivi? Eh, hapa kulikuanga na nyoka wa vichwa vivi. Mnajenga kesho mnakutana na nyoka unamgonga huku, kichwa kingine kwa huko anarudi. The more tulikuwa tunawaua ndivyo wengine walikuwa wanakufa area hii. Hao tulipomalizana hao nyoka wale wa kukufa pia waliamaliza kukufa alafu hakuna kukufa. Si tumalizane na nyoka wa kwenu. <laughs> Siku moja nikauliza vijana wengine wakiwa wanajenga hapa nani huyu amekufa mnalia hapo. Kaniambia ai pasta wacha huyu akufa. Huyu anatotesa na ni mjeuri na uwezi muua. Na ile direction huyo nyoka alitoka najua mpaka leo. So huyo aliponiambia wacha huyu akufe mimi nikasema okay no problem. Si mwingine pia aje aliye na vichwa vingapi. Naomba leo huyu unapotumia mwili wa Yesu na damu ya Yesu aishi ndani yako, akupe macho yake, aone ndani yako, aone ndani yako, afanye biashara ndani yako. Mama, ni kwambie vile Yesu kutumia damu Yesu na mwili wa Yesu ni nzuri. Ni kueleze. Anakuja kuishi ndani yako na wewe ndani yake. Imagine siku moja Yesu akapata Petro na Yohana, wavuvi wenye akili, wamevua samaki usiku nzima, wameshika maji peke yake. Wametoa nyavu nje wanasafisha. Yesu akawaambia, "Jameni, si msukume hii hichi chombo hapo ndani nitumie kuhubiri sababu sina madhabahu kambia ni sawa akahubiri alipomaliza akaambia okay tupendi nyavu ngambo hii mtashika samaki akasema bwana tumeshinda usiku mzima hakuna kitu tumeshika sasa mchana tutashika nini hakuna samaki akakambia lakini kwa vile umesema walishika samaki mpaka Petro akaanguka ndani ya maji akasema ondoka mbele yangu wewe bwana ikiwa huyo Yesu ataingia ndani yako leo si wateja watakuja kwa biashara mpaka useme bwana we bwana we bwana we 